Okay, welcome. It is part two of our Dunwich, Dunwich, Dunwich legacy campaign. Um, this is Ash Campy and his faithful hound Duke um, trying to find out what's going on over there. Our former mentor has called us in and he's uh, asked us to help him out in episode one. If you've not seen it, head back over and have a look. Um, we found uh, the archaeologist. Uh, I can't remember what his name was. Maybe he'll turn up. He's in the deck now. Um, so we also cheated at a card table, which has resulted in another um, sort of bad result going into our chaos bag. Um, the O'Banion gang has a bone to pick with us. Uh, Dr. Morgan, that's his name. It's here on my journal. Um, so yeah, that was that. We got two experience points. We've spent them. So we've we've switched out rise to the occasion um, with Dauntless two times. So Dauntless, I think, will be more useful for us. Um, yeah, that's that. This is extracurricular activity. So I have set up. Um, it says, sorry, chicken. It says, Doctor Armitage is worried. His colleague, Professor Warren Rice, might be in trouble. So he's asked for your help in finding his friend. He seems unreasonably nervous about his colleague's disappearance, considering Professor Rice has only been missing a matter of hours. So I've set up already. Here you go, I shall show you the table. Um, so we have, these are our weaknesses. They, when we've taken our mulligan, they'll get shuffled in. So we have the Miskatonic Quad, where we're stood. We've got the science building, the administration building, the student union, the humanities building, and the own library. Um, so um, we're gonna have to investigate, try and find this person. Uh, yeah, we've got our five resources. Uh, Duke, as ever, is in our ally slot. I'm not gonna mess about, I'm just gonna get straight into it. So the agenda for this one is Quiet Halls. You've arrived at the Miskatonic University campus in search of Professor Warren Rice. Classes are over and a mysterious silence hangs in the air over the quad. Um, this is where the doom is going to go when it gets to seven. We're going to uh, advance the agenda. The act um, after hours. Uh, Professor Rice was last seen several hours ago by one of Armitage's students in the humanities building. So the Humanities Building um, is where he was last seen. Um, I need three clues to progress the act. Um, I have a feeling it's not gonna go great. I did actually start this one, uh, full disclosure, and realized I misplayed. So I'm having to restart it. I didn't get too far in. I don't know um, what's gonna happen in terms of um, act two or three, or agenda two and three. Um, it's just I'd progressed and forgot to read the back of the cards, which is pretty key. Anyway, um, here's our bag. Uh, here's our table. So the, um, the starting hand will be... Uh, let's see. I get to take a mulligan, so we have an emergency cash. First aid. Sledgehammer. Always good. I'm out of here. And lone wolf. Um, so, in terms of what I'm getting rid of, I'm definitely keeping my sledgehammer. Um, I think lone wolf is always fun, but I don't think I need it just yet. Uh, not lone wolf. I'm out of here. I'm definitely taking lone wolf. I'm definitely taking the sledgehammer, and I'm definitely taking my emergency cash. I think. Um, so these two can go back in. And the next two cards, we have Jury Rig, perfect, and Dauntless. So Dauntless Spirit um, is the new card. So I can commit it. Um, if it's a willpower test, I get icons equal to my combat. And if it's a combat test, I get icons e equal to my willpower. So quite good. So that's a fairly decent start in hand. I'm going to... Just shuffle all these in. 
Uh, weaknesses are in there, same as last time. Uh, crippling, racked by nightmares and panic. Um, I get panicked quite easily it seems. So, right, that's that. We're set up. Um, I'm going to try and just fly through this. Hopefully I'll be able to after my little unofficial practice. So the Miskatonic Quad says, a too early winter has stripped the trees bare. Their dead branches whistle as a sharp cold wind cuts across the empty quad. Um, okay, so from this location we can resign. Um, we can't find rice anywhere. You leave the campus hoping Armitage will forgive you. Surrounded by fences and gates of wrought iron, you can't help but feel as a, as much a prisoner here as a guest. So, shroud of three and zero clues. That's where I am. Um, we go to our activation. Let's see what we can do here. I think we are going to... Um, play the sledgehammer costs us uh, three I think we're going to play lone wolf costs us one and we're gonna play jury rig costs us zero I think just getting those out um, early is probably for the best just so that we're fully prepped there's the three uses for jury rig. Um, Lone Wolf's good because it gives me extra resources every turn. Um, yeah, I think that's all I'm going to do this turn. Um, so we're going to go to, first of all, uh, enemy phase. There's no enemies. Uh, upkeep. So I'm going to take a resource. I'm always going to take them first if I remember. Then we're going to take this, a test of will. So this is going to be fast. Play when an investigator at your location draws a non-weakness treachery card. I can test willpower and if I succeed, cancels its revelation effect. Well, that's pretty cool. Right, so we've done that. Um, and then we are going to go to a mythos. So we are going to get an omen token. Um, and we are going to draw. Test willpower at five. For each point you fail by, discard the top card in your deck. Test willpower. I've got willpower of four. Um, I could just get rid of it with that. Or I could add two to it from Dauntless. If I fail, I discard the top card. For each point I fail by, I discard the top card in my deck. Ooh, I'm just going to go for it. So it's a four into a five. Minus one puts me a three, so I'm going to discard two cards. I don't know why that is important. I'm getting rid of a cash and a jury rig. Hopefully, um, well, I don't really know what happens when I run out of cards yet. Hopefully it's not the end of the game. Um, we'll see. Uh, so that's that done. Um, yeah. Uh, investigator, I've got Lone Wolf out, so... Apologies for this squeaky chair. I'll try not to squeak it too much. Uh, and for me having all my threes, fives, and one resources in the same pot like a numpty. Anyway, we get one of those for Lone Wolf. What we're going to do. I'm going to go to the Student Union first. So I'm going to move one. It says... Even at this late hour, you can hear a muffled chatter from inside the student union. Perhaps one of the students will know where the professor is. That's why I'm going there. Okay, so forced. After it's revealed, um, put the set-aside dormitories into play. So, yeah, I didn't see any of the... What's in these? This is locked. The door leading to the dormitories is locked. You can't move into the dormitories. The red brick form of the west dormitory could be seen through the trees. So that was a move. I am going to get Duke to search. It's got a shroud of one. Um, search, Duke, search. 
Um, he's got a, a four. Oh, it's an auto pass, um, which is plus two. So he definitely does it, and Duke gets instantly redded. Nice. Um, so he gets that clue. And because he's instantly redded, I'm just going to get him to do it again. Oh, minus four, though. Couldn't have got much worse than that. So uh, that's a fail. So we're going to get our resource and a card, Dr. Francis Morgan, okay, and here, uh, and uh, there you get put back up, there's no enemies, um, doom. Treachery pushed into the beyond. Revelation. Choose and shuffle a non-story asset you control into your deck and discard the top three cards of your deck. If a copy of that asset is discarded, take two horror. Okay. Oof, a non-story asset. Well, I'm going to put Lone Wolf in. So I have to shuffle that into my deck, then discard the top three cards of my deck. So if Lone Wolf is discarded, I take two horror. It's a bit harsh. Okay, so one, two, three. Nope. I don't like all this discarding of cards. This is unsettling. And that's one of my scavenging that's just been discarded. I don't want scavenging to be discarded. Um, investigation. I don't have Lone Wolf anymore. Um, okay, so on the hunt. Come on. Uh, I've got nothing I can commit to it. So I'm just going in again. That's a zero. That's one. Activation. Um, I'm going to have to go two, three. I'm going to places I've not seen now just because I've never seen them. So the science building dominates the eastern side of the campus. Its windows are dark, save for a lone window shining faintly in the corner of the basement. Okay, I see it there. Flipping it, it says. Four, staff to science building is revealed. Put the set aside alchemy lab into play. Alchemy lab. The door leading to the alchemy labs is locked. You can't move into the alchemy labs. A pungent stench rises from the laboratory downstairs. The silence of the hall is broken by the unmistakable hiss of a burner. Okay. Forced, when I fail... A willpower test in the science building take damage. A trail of viscous ooze snakes through the halls of the science building's first floor, leading down into the basement. Okay, so it's got a shroud of two and one clue. Well, I only need one, don't I? So I moved, moved. Oh no, I must have searched. Moved, moved because Duke is exhausted. So that must be the end of my go. Um, so I will ready my assets. There's no enemies. Um, I shall take those. Oh, racked by nightmares. So, um, revelation, exhaust all assets you control and put racked by nightmares into play in your threat area. I cannot ready assets I control. So I think I exhaust, exhaust things that don't normally get exhausted. Uh, I think. I don't know. If anybody knows, please tell me. Um, okay. Basically, I have to spend two actions to get rid of it. There's the third doom. An arcane barrier. Revelation attached to your location. 
as an additional cost to move into or out of the location, test willpower. If successful, discard the arcane barrier. Otherwise, you must either cancel the effects of the move or discard the top five cards of your deck. I don't like how it keeps asking me to discard things. Um, do I want to bend that off? It's not going to make it more difficult for me to research. And I have got quite a good... Yeah, I don't really like that barrier, but I think I'm going to I'm gonna take it. So I'm going to put that there. Um, and attach it to my location. Um, comes to me. I'm going to have to spend two actions to get rid of Rack by Nightmares. And then I think I am going to... Get rid of... Francis Morgan. Discard a card from my hand to ready an asset. I'll ready Duke. That was a quick action. And then I'm going to get Duke to um, sniff around. It's a uh, two. I have nothing I can commit to it. So it's just a straight four plays two. And that's an insta fail. So, no joy. Um, end of my turn. These do get redded, thankfully. Um, what are those? How can we get a card? Guts. Get some doom, because there's still no heroes. And we draw our next card. Offer of power. You must either draw two cards and place two doom on the current agenda. Or take two horror. A voice inside your head offers you power for a price. Two doom. It's a bit harsh, but I don't want two. Well, I can take the horror and put it on my dog. No, I'm going to take two horror. I don't want two doom. Yeah, I'm going to put them on my dog. Sorry, Duke. It was horrifying. Um, what's next? So that was drawing those. Um, so it comes to our activation. Surely we can do something, guys. I've got loads of things to help with willpower, but nothing to help searching. I need more stuff in the deck. Um, although I can send Duke to investigate a neighbouring location, but can he get through the Arcane Barrier? It does say you may move. And this one says... As an additional cost to move into or out of the location. So no, I don't think he can. Right. Let's try it. Come on, Duke. Minus two. Puts him down to two. He, he does it. We get that clue. Glorious. So we instantly spend those. I've never seen this, so this is all new. Okay. The Head Janitor. You were unable to find Professor Rice, but one of the students you spoke with mentioned a strange man entering Rice's office. Unfortunately, the door leading to the faculty offices is locked at this late hour. The student says the Head Janitor, Jazz, might be able to let you in if you can find him. Shuffle the encounter discard pile and the set aside Jazz Mulligan into the encounter deck. Okay. So there's Jazz and the discard pile. Oh, there's Jazz again. Mikey. It's as though I was controlling it. I'm not. Look at me go. Ha 
I used to be able to do things for cards. Can't anymore. Been too many years. Probably 15 years. Right, anyway, there we go. Okay, so he's in there. So, now. Concerned for Professor Rice's safety, you seek out the head janitor who can let you into the lock sections of the campus. Okay, so I've got dormitories and the alchemy lab there as well. Spend one clue as an action. I can discard the top five cards of the encounter deck. Top ten instead if there is one player in the game. If I discard Jazz, for any reason, resolve his revelation effect. When you take control of Jazz, advance. Okay, we got this. So... I think that was our first action. Uh, now, getting out of there. Oh, oh no, and when I fail a willpower test, I'm going to take damage here. So, I have to take a willpower test to move off there. Uh, so that's locked. So I'm going to just have to go for it. Try moving off. I can use guts and I can use test of will. So my willpower is four. I'll make it six with that. It's a, a test of four. So I'm going to make it seven. Plus one gives me eight. That's it. So. I move, that's my second action. Um, and then it says, if successful, discard the arcane barrier. Okay, that's my second action done. And then third action, I need to find a clue from somewhere. Um, I might as well go down here. Um, around the aged administration building, creepers of ivy climb from the ground in an effort to claim it. The old hall stands alone in an isolated section of the campus, apart from the day-to-day -day bustle of students. So, after it's revealed, put the aside, set aside faculty offices into play. Ah, uh, yeah, this is the hour is late. I had to put a special one in, based upon the fact that I'm playing this after the first one that I played. Um, the house always wins. So it says the door leading to the faculty office is locked. You can't move into the faculty offices. You come to a locked door at the top of the stairs leading to the third floor of the administration building. Through its frosted window you believe you glimpse a shadow darting across the hall. Or maybe it's just your imagination. Okay, so those both went committed to the test okay so that's all three actions I ready that uh, I get one of those get a card overpower okay so I'm down to emergency cash dauntless spirit and overpower there's no enemies. Um, that's a three, so I'm going to take two. Go like that. Five. Beyond the veil. Search. Okay. Revelation. Put beyond the veil into play in your threat area. If there is no copy of beyond the veil in your threat area. If your deck has no cards in it, take 10 damage. What? Ah, now I see why I don't want to run out of cards. Crikey. If I'd have run out of cards and that had come out, that'd have been me. That'd have been just game over. That's now in my threat. So if I run out of cards, holy smokes right surge as well so I have to pull another one out thrall 
humanoid monster abomination. Spawn in the location with the most clues. Well, oh, this one. The administration building's got one clue. And a shroud of four. So it's here. So it's actually where I am. So it's going to engage me as well. Right, I don't like that beyond the veil. That is outrageous. I need to get rid of that. So how do I get rid of beyond the veil? How do you get rid of a hex? Right, this thing's got a fight of two and a health of two. So I think I'm just going to, first of all, just attack that. So I'll use Duke. That's a four. I'll use Overpower. Oh, Christ, I don't want to run out of cards. And, okay. So that gives me six. Plus one is seven. Which does two damage because it's Duke. So that defeats it. The Thrall is defeated. Our malevolence has overtaken their minds, turning them into soulless puppets. Yeah, they're done. Um, so that's one. I have to put it into Holy Journal. Extracurricular, one non elite enemy. Well, how many clues have I had? I've only had three, haven't I? That's my first action. Um, this has got a shroud of four. I'm realizing now I need stuff to to either make these easier or make me better at investigating. Roland was so easy because whenever you defeated something, you got a clue. I don't think that it's worth my time on a shroud of four. So I think I'm gonna just go move, move. Professor Rice was last seen in the humanities building teaching one of his Latin classes. The murky windows of the weather-worn structure emit no light and the night is silent around you. Forced, at the end of your turn, if you're in the humanities building, discard the top X cards of your hand deck, where X is the amount of horror on you. Thankfully, there's no horror on me. The power is out, plunging the building's halls into every darkness. There's no sign of Professor Rice, but there are two clues. And it's got a shroud of three, which is easier to find. So that's okay. So that's all of my actions. That goes to there. Um, there's no bad guys. Three, four, five, six. One more and that advances. Um, it's not jazz hands. It's a whippoorwill. Oh, I don't like these. It's an aloof hunter, a creature. So I minus one to all of my stats at my location. It is vowed that the birds are psychopomps lying in wait for the souls of the dying. Yeah, that's not ideal. So that makes me minus one. Oh, that's for me though, not for Duke. Okay. I can take that. I don't know if I just drew my own card. So I think I should have got if I did if I wasn't ignore me. But yeah, I think I should have. So I've got lucky there. Play when you would fail a skill test, get plus two to the value. Nice. Right. Okay. So then it comes to me. What are we going to do about this Whippoorwill? I don't want to use Duke to fight it. I think I'm going to have to fight it. So it's only got a combat of two and one health. I could just hit it with my sledgehammer. I think I'm just going to attack it. Because if I just attack it, it's only got a combat of two. I've got a two. Even if I get a minus four, it'll put me to zero. And then I've got lucky. So I'm just going to attack it. 
So plus one, I, I defeat it anyway. So that's one action. That's another non-elite enemy defeated. And then Duke, second action. Um, he's gonna search, it's a three. Uh, there's nothing I can do to help at this point. Minus one takes him down to a three, so he passes. So we get one of the clues. Um, and then I will spend for my final action and discard 10 cards. There he is. Okay, so I have to do 10 though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here's Jazz. Jazz Mulligan. Revelation. Put Jazz Mulligan into play at your location. Okay, he's in the Humanities building. Um, I'm gonna sp I had to spend that, didn't I? While Jazz Mulligan is not controlled, you can parley. Test Knowledge 3. If you are successful, take control. While you control Jazz Mulligan, you ignore the text on each unveiled. All right, so I've just ignored locked doors. Um, but I've run out of actions this time and I don't progress the act until I take control of it. Okay, so at the end, that goes there. There's no enemies. I'm gonna get my um, resource. I'm gonna fetch a card, bandages, okay. Right, here's where it starts going a bit wrong. So I advance Doom, that takes me up to seven. So the university is dead silent. The shadows coil about your feet as you walk and you swear there is something following you with each step you take. Is it just your imagination or is there really someone or something stalking you? Each investigator with five or more cards in his or her discard pile takes a horror. Each with ten or more takes two horror instead. If the players have completed the house always wins, advance directly to agenda 2B. I have. Okay. So how many have I got in here? One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten or more. Bugger. Bugger. Two horror. There's nothing I can do about that because Duke's already on max horror. I'm not killing the poor hound. Okay. Oh, I only have five. Then I go directly to 2B. An experiment gone wrong. A cry of fear echoes through the campus and several students flee from the eastern side of the university where the science building can be found. Could this commotion be linked to Professor Rice's disappearance? If the dormitory's location is not in play, put it in play. If the experiment is in play, move it one location toward the dormitories. If the experiment is not in play, spawn it in the science building. Massive. The experiment gets plus three health per investigator. What? It's got 10 health. When the enemy phase begins, ready the experiment. If it's defeated, advance to 3B. What? That's mad. Something went terribly wrong. It's got combat of four and 10 health. Some kind of wild creature is on the loose. 
whatever it is, it appears to be headed towards the university dormitories. When this agenda would advance by reaching its doom threshold, instead remove all doom in play and move the experiment one location towards the dormitories. If it, adva if it enters the dormitories, advance. So it's got a threshold of two. So every time two doom go on it, it's going to move. It's going to go from there to there, there to there, and there to there. And what, I've got to stop it. It's got like 10 health. I mean, I can do three, five damage a turn, but it'll batter me. This is scary. Um, okay. I need to take control of this clown. I've not even drawn my bad thing yet. And if I run out of cards, I'm done. This is scary. It's only like the first mission. Locked door. Obstacle. Attached to the location with the most clues and without a locked door to atta attached. The attached location cannot be investigated. Test. Strength 4 to break down the door or dexterity 4 to pick the locks. So it could be either. I'm going to put it on that one just because I'm not there. I don't even know if I need clues anymore. We'll see when we take control of Jazz. <sighs> okay. We've got this. We need to parley. And this is test book. I only have a two for book. And it's a three. Okay. Let's parley. Right, I'm going to speak to him. I only have two. And it's three. I need a good one. Minus two, which puts me to zero. So, no. I can't convince him. It's my first action. I'll try again. Minus one, which puts me to one. Okay. Then I'm going to spend lucky. Play when I would fail a skill test and I get plus two to the value. Okay, we've got this. So we successfully parlayed. So I control him. And now I can get through doors. Not that it's going to help me unless there's something I can get. Um, I'm going to just move duke to there in fact i'll put duke there because i only have one arcane thing in my whole deck so he can he can have that space right under me nice put duke okay so we've got jazz hands um now we do this you convince jazz that something strange is going on and professor rice may be in danger he doesn't trust you enough to hand you his keys but agrees to come with you all of a sudden you hear a crash coming from the science building and a sh student rushes towards you. Help, he cries. There's some kind of animal loose in the chem labs. I only barely caught a glimpse of it, but he shudders. I think it's heading to the dorms. You've got to do something. If the alchemy lab's location is not in play, put it in play. It is. Um, if you're at agenda one or two, spawn the set aside experiment. No. If you completed the house always wins, we have put the alchemical concoction into play underneath the alchemy labs. Okay. Okay, it says fight. This attack uses book instead of fight. If used to attack the experiment, it deals plus six damage. I only have book of two. The experiment has fight of four. Okay. But that's there. So that wouldn't have been there, it says, if I'd have done this first. Okay. You have only moments to react. 
you could warn the students in the dormitories and escort them to safety or continue your task of searching the faculty offices for Professor Rice. Or perhaps you could try to slay the beast that threatens the campus. Objective. Find and complete an objective on another encounter card. All right, I could go to the dormitories and warn them. That seems the easiest. That seems the easiest. And then I can always run back to the experiment. So I'm going to move one for my final action. This is absolutely intense. I'm just ahead of it. Um, so Jazz Mulligan, the head janitor, is going to come with me. I've done all that. I mean, these resources are so useless. It was the same in the last game. Um, and then I get a card. I don't want to run out of bloody oh, a leather coat. That gives me some armour. So I've got coat, some bandages, dauntless spirit and the emergency cash that I've not used because I get so much. I don't think I even need those emergency caches to be honest. Right. There's no enemies. Well there is an enemy and it's massive. I think that just means it engages everybody at the location. It's pretty scary looking. Now I could go and get that concoction. But I think I'm best off going and saving the kids first and then going there. Anyway, one doom. I just have to hope oh, this one doesn't move it. Eager for death. Revelation. Test willpower. Increase the, de the difficulty by one for each damage on you. So there's no damage on me, just horror. So... My willpower is four. I'm looking for a two. Um, I've got nothing to commit. It's a zero, so I pass. If they can catch the fleeting soul when it leaves the body, they instantly flutter away, chittering on demonic laughter. Oof, dirty birds. Dirty birds. Right. It's us. We've got this. So we're going to go student union one move. Dormitories two moves. Dormitories. Shroud of one. Three clues. Objective. If investigators in the dormitories spend three clues as a group. I can go to. Oh right. It's R2. That's a resolution. As you explore these old, well-kept buildings, you find yourself wondering whether the beds are comfortable. That's the objective, so I have to spend three clues. There are three clues here. It's only got a shroud of one. Okay. Um, so what did I do? I moved. Moved. No. I moved. Moved. Now I need to do some investigating, I suppose. So I'll investigate. Skull, I think a skull's just minus one. Um, so I'm a four, brings it down, look at that. If I'd have failed, I'd discard the top two cards of my deck. Oh no, I discard the top three cards of my deck. But it's only minus one. So it gives me a three. So I get one. That's my final action. So I already get yet another resource. And I get a card. Scavenging. If I investigate by two or more successfully, I can exhaust it and choose an item in my discard pile to add to my hand. Quite like that. There's no enemies apart from him. Doom. It goes. Remove Doom and move it one location. 
towards the dormitories. I think we just about made it. It's so well balanced and written, this game. Okay, so um, let me go to this. Thrall again. Oh, it's another one that isn't worth anything to me. Spawn at the location with the most clues. That's where we are. So it's gone into combat with us again. Um, goes to us. Three actions. Let's get this right. First of all, I have to hit it. I'm going to hit it with my sledgehammer. That's minus one. So my combat becomes one. Combat becomes one. But if I use Dauntless Spirit, I can add four to it. So my combat becomes five. And I'll use that, which makes it seven. Sounds a bit excessive, doesn't it? Do it though. It's a skull. Uh, minus one, so that makes it a six. Easily done though. Uh, so I destroyed that. And it was only one action rather than two because it went for the weaker version. We need to set Duke to investigate. I've got nothing I can. Oh, I can give scavenging. But it's a four, it's only got a thing of, yeah. It's a skull, so minus one brings him down to a three. Still good enough. Okay. Then I'm going to spend that emergency cash because I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to discard it and ready duke. And then for my final action, I'm going to get him to go again, rounding up all these uh, students, discard the top two cards of your deck, I am minus the total printed on the cost of the discarded cards, okay so, that's got nothing, minus three, but he's a four, minus three, Still pass. I don't like that. I'm so close to the top of my, how many have I got? I've still got a few left in my deck. Don't worry. And we've got that. Find and complete the objective. So, so we can spend our three now. And we've got a resolution two. There's our three spent. You pull each of the dormitory's fire alarms and usher the students out of the building's north exit, hoping to make your way off campus. Many of the students are confused and exhausted, but you believe an attempt to explain the situation will do more harm than good. Minutes later, a terrible screech echoes across the campus, piercing and shrill. You tell the students to wait and head back to the dormitories to investigate. Oddly, you find no trace of the strange creature, a prospect that worries you more than it relieves you. You hurry to the faculty offices to find Professor Rice, but there's no sign of him anywhere. In your campaign log, record that Professor Warren Rice was kidnapped. In your campaign log, record the students were rescued. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory value of each card in the victory display. So I've only earned one. 1 XP. It's terrible. Proceed to interlude 1, Armitage's fate. When you arrive at Dr. Armitage's home in Southside, you find him sitting at his desk. There was a separate one here which says, I have to check my log. If I was unconscious for several hours, I have to read a different one. But I didn't. I wasn't, so... He's sitting at his desk, pale-faced and sweating with worry. He's grateful to you for searching for his colleagues, but he doesn't look relieved. With a long pause, he straightens his glasses and explains. 
I'm afraid I must apologise. There's something I didn't mention to you earlier. Dr Armitage then spins a tale you would scarcely believe had it not been for your harrowing experiences earlier that night. In your campaign log, record that the investigators rescued Dr Henry Armitage. Any one investigator may choose to add him to his or her deck. It doesn't count towards his deck size. It can be found in the Armitage's fate encounter set, indicated by this icon. Then the scenario, the story continues in scenario two, the Miskatonic Museum. So that is that. Um, I've got an experience point and I've got Dr. Armitage. We didn't manage to rescue Professor Rice. Um, he's been kidnapped. Um, I don't know whether or not I'm going to spend that experience. I don't think I am. Although I do realise now that I'm going to struggle getting clues. Um, so maybe I'll have a thumb through and see if there's anything I could get. Maybe just a magnifying glass or a flashlight or something. But anyway, if you're watching, if you've watched, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, please let us know if you did. Um, this isn't um, our unusual content, so um, we haven't got that many viewers, clearly. Um, but if you do enjoy it and you want to see more, uh, let us know and we'll get more done. Um, and then I'll be back soon with episode two, The Miskatonic Museum. <laughs>